Hey guys, it's Chris. From mysterious buildings to animals no one expected to be there, here are eight of the weirdest things ever found in Antarctica. Number 8. Mystery Structure Google Earth has been a great way for people around the world to view all kinds of things. But an unexpected side effect of this was people looking at the map and finding things they didn't know were there. When one man went to examine Antarctica, he found a blurred out section of a map that was so large that he felt it couldn't be anything other than a massive building. I've searched the entire continent and I couldn't find anything quite like it. I thought maybe there's a peculiar place in the images where there happens to be a gap, but I don't think that's the case. Just as interesting is that the size of the mass is 14 miles by 4.5 miles. And when said person searched all of Antarctica to see if something similar was around, he couldn't find a thing. When he made a YouTube video about this and talked about it, the speculation from viewers was that this was a government building of some kind as they apparently have the right to have Google Maps blur certain areas if they feel it'll expose certain things about said structures. However, a 14-mile-long building in Antarctica is not only improbable, it's also illogical. Granted, there are research stations and outposts from various countries on the continent right now, but they're nowhere near that size. Speculation continues, so feel free to add your two cents in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Number 7. Bloody Falls Don't worry, it's not actually a waterfall made of blood, but a waterfall coming out of a glacier in Antarctica that flows red, giving it its infamous nickname. The glacier in question is the Taylor Glacier, and the reason for its red coloring is pretty simple in context. You see, the glacier isn't just holding a bunch of ice together, it's also holding back an ancient body of water one that is 2 million years old and filled with microbes and other things from days long gone by. So cool. Eventually, the glacier broke enough to let the water flow forth. It's unknown exactly when this happened. The Bloody Falls were only discovered in 1911. The water that was sealed away was high in salinity as well as heavy in iron. Mix salt water with iron, then expose it to oxygen and you get oxygenation, which is what causes iron to rust. Here in the water, it's causing the exact same thing, and this in turn gets the water to go from blue to this reddish color. The blood falls themselves are five stories high on the Taylor Glacier, and the waters actually flow pretty slowly, which is why the ice is stained by the blood. It should also be noted that the revelation about the blood falls is recent. It was once believed that algae turned the color of the falls red, which it has done in other bodies of water in the past. Number 6. Mystery Dome Antarctica is a very interesting place in regards to the fact that there is no population there annually in large numbers. There are research outposts and facilities, but they're not inhabited year-round, more times than not because of the extreme temperatures. And yet satellite imagery has found a mysterious dome that seems to have been handmade, and it's not in any of the areas that humans have been known to be in within Antarctica. The structure itself is 400 feet long, and the markings on the dome point to it truly having been made by someone. Early thoughts was that it was an effect of wind and ice meeting up somehow. But other structures in Antarctica that were created by this bear no resemblance to the dome in question. So what does this all mean? Many are speculating that this could be proof that there was an ancient Antarctic civilization at one time, possibly before the Ice Age when Antarctica may not have been the frozen wasteland that it is right now. Conspiracy theorists, though, are saying that this is proof of the lost city of Atlantis. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And now for some creatures, but first, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe before you leave. We have lots of videos coming up. Number 5. Invertebrates in the Ice and Snow when you think about life in Antarctica, you either think of penguins or the creatures that live in the waters around Antarctica, such as squid. But interestingly, if you were to go into the snows of the continent and look around and look closely, you'll find a whole host of invertebrates lurking around. 67 different species to be precise, and that's just what we know of. There are nematode worms, mites, the rodifer, which are also called the wheel animal, the tardigrade, also known as the water bear, and the springtail. All different, all unique, and all live in Antarctica. 
but I guess defining them as living is sometimes a bit of a misnomer. This is because they aren't actually living all the time. You see, if the temperature goes above freezing point, they'll start to move around and go about their day. Yet when it drops, which is often given the average temperature of Antarctica is below zero at times, they'll hibernate, for lack of a better term. Their moving periods sometimes only last an hour when they're lucky, whereas their hibernation can sometimes last up to months. You might question whether this is truly living. But they are alive, just in a form of stasis because of the cold. What's more, it proves that creatures both large and small can live within the majorly cold conditions of the continent. Number 4. Antarctic Lakes Water in Antarctica is a curious thing, because technically it's all around you when you're there because of the snow, but in terms of actual bodies of water, that was thought to be impossible. Then a man named Jonathan Kingslake came along and changed everything. In 2010, he was observing a picture from Google Earth of the Nielsen Ice Shelf in Antarctica. When he did, he noticed that there were water channels that could clearly be seen. Channels that would only exist if there was a lake around there somewhere. The idea of such a drain system in Antarctica was long thought of as impossible because of the cold temperatures, but Kingslake's discovery prompted a more rigorous search of Antarctica, and they found around 700 different drainage systems throughout the continent, each of them feeding a lake in one form or another. Some of the water even traveled 75 miles in order to reach the lake it was headed to. That's a long way for a continent that was said to not have any such thing. An 80 kilometer long lake existing on the surface of the Earth without us really knowing about it, well, it's just itself incredible to me, noted Kings Lake. The finding of these systems in lakes has changed not only how we look at Antarctica, but how we can look at the oceans at large given enough time. I think in the long run, this field of research will lead to improved sea level predictions, Kings Lake says. But we're at such an early stage, it's impossible for us to say whether predictions of sea level rise will be increased or decreased by this observation. Number 3. The Kraken? One of the all-time great sea legends is that there's a monster squid living in the ocean called the Kraken. And near Antarctica, we know that massive squids reside in the waters, but a picture from Google Earth seemed to indicate that the legendary Kraken was not only alive, it lived in the waters near the frozen continent. The wake that is being created by whatever the creature is is so massive that people are thinking that it was the Kraken well and truly. Once the picture made the rounds, it was revealed that the entity was between 75 and 100 feet in length which would put it well above the length of even a giant or colossal squid. So has the legendary creature been found? Well, not so fast. After hysteria grew about the Kraken being found, Andrew David Thaler of Southern Fried Science went and posted a map of the area, which apparently is known for having outcroppings of rocks. And one such rock is called Sail Rock, which is 100 feet in length, and is in the exact spot that the Kraken picture was taken. Which just goes to show that just because you see something that might be something, it doesn't mean that it is something. Number 2. Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains I want you to picture a mountain range. Now I want you to picture that mountain range being buried to the tips and beyond in snow and ice. That's exactly what's going on with the Gambertsev Subglacial Mountains in Antarctica. This is a mountain range that is apparently very old hundreds of millions of years old, some even say billions, and yet they're buried in ice and snow on the continent. Just to give you a reference, the mountains themselves rise 10,000 feet into the air, but then there's 15,000 feet of ice and snow on top of those mountains, which is why you won't see them if you go to visit Antarctica. Not unless you have something you can use to see through the snow. It is very fitting that the initial results of the Antarctic's Gambertsev Province Project are coming out 100 years after after the great explorers raced to the South Pole, said Alexandra Isern, program director at the National Science Foundation. The scientific explorers of the Antarctic Gambertsev Province project worked in harsh conditions to collect the data and detailed images of this major mountain range under the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. The results of their work will guide research in this region for many years to come. What's also mystifying people about these mountains is that they still exist. Mountains erode over time, especially in the presence of ice and water, which breaks down the rocks, and yet these ones seem unfazed. Research into these mountains is still ongoing, so if you know any more about them, leave me a comment. 
Number 1. 71 million year old fossils. An expedition to James Ross Island, which is on the Antarctic Peninsula in 2016, led to a massive discovery of fossils. These fossils were not only old, they were millions of years old. 71 million years old at the oldest, to be precise. We found a lot of really great fossils, said University of Queensland School of Biological Sciences researcher Dr. Steve Salisbury. The rocks that we were focusing on come from the end of the age of the dinosaurs, so most of them are between 71 and 67 million years old. Things found on the island include an ancestor to the duck, as well as remnants of actual dinosaurs, including the Mosasaurus, which was actually part of the first Jurassic World film quite famously. The recovery of these fossils paints an interesting picture in regards to how these creatures died, and scientists are trying to clear that picture up so that it could lead to information about how these various creatures went extinct. The diversity and quality of what we found will provide a detailed snapshot of life in Antarctica at the end of the age of dinosaurs, Dr. Salisbury told the Wall Street Journal. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these weird things found in Antarctica? I want to know more about that dome. Which was the weirdest for you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you around soon.